Sophie's a screening room. I'm Mary Kitchen for Red Carpet Diary. As the 35th Toronto International Film Festival heads into its final days, the premieres and the stars keep rolling in. Cheryl Brown has the key to its success. In Sarah's Key, Kristen Scott Thomas plays an American journalist obsessed with tracking down a Jewish girl missing in Nazi-occupied France. But the reporter's search ultimately changes her and the way she sees the world. It's great because first it was a very good novel with a great story and, uh, and then you have all these people that love the books and I'm sure they're anxious to see the movie so no it's only prose. Then you have of course this pressure that you hope they will like the movie and that they won't feel that I betray them but you know Tatiana de Rone, the writer, loves the film and she said to me that we respected her work so you know I'm pretty sure that uh, people who, li who like the book will like the movie. Do you feel any pressure being involved in a project that's based on a bestseller? Yeah, I think, you know, you feel a responsibility to, to, to try and really get it right and also feel a responsibility to anyone that's involved in the Holocaust and to what went on in those times in that story, you know, you definitely feel that responsibility, that weight to get it right. I. I was just amazed. I remember when I came to Paris, when I came to France for the first time in 1980, I had no idea about what went on during the Second World War. And nobody really talked about it. And it was only really, really recently, in the late 90s, that President Chirac um, had, you know, had talked about this event, this particular event, the, the roundup of the Vélodrome d'Hiver. And so it's a very recent in the French kind of conscience, I would say. It's the, it's the, they've recently been able to open up about it. So, so far, I mean, the response has been really good because uh, we needed to face our past at some point. It's not something we do so much in France. I mean, way less than in, America, in North America. So, uh, yeah, I think, uh, I think they're happy that this movie exists.